Which is which is going to slide us right into today's episode. Yep. Yeah. We're talking dicks. Yeah. This is a full dong, dong, talk. dong episode. Zeldis is a full-on male dick fucking research the guardian. king, dude. He's, he's you're, the dude, you're like the dude from Thor, fucking Idris Elba, dude, at the fucking gate with the thing. Yeah. You know, have you guys ever seen that? I didn't, but Holding I Holding the under... fucking thing to let people through or not through? I didn't see either, but you're painting a picture. Dude, it's a good, it's a flattering character. Yeah. He's, he's like, like a British guard. Yeah. It's just standing there. Right. A dick hat. That's right. That's <laughs> right. That's what's up. Protector of so dicks. So explain, explain, uh, explain your cause, dude. Just Yo, one close to my heart. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, I know Steve Gerben and, and that's kind of why I'm on this podcast, but, he, but he's, he's boys with you guys. And for as long as I've known Steve, he's known that, you know, I've been I've been part of this anti circumcision movement, which is <laughs> which is Shane's already Shane Shane already can't ignore him, dude. He can't, no, no, I know he's he's getting ready because he's gonna be two against one, and he can't. I don't know why he's against this. I just I all right. Let, what's, me, explain, what's, let yeah, me explain. Yeah, explain let me explain. Yeah, and what's Steve's yourself. dick like? Steve Steve's he's he's born Jewish, Jewish and Ooh, but he's yeah. he's against circumcision. He's got that desert dick, yeah. Yeah, he's, they, this is their idea, right? This whole cutting the dong thing. It's like not even nobody even really knows. I mean, uh, biblically, yeah, but it existed before that, yeah. they used to cut um, like Egyptian slaves, uh, and probably as just a a sign of subjugation. Like you're what you're our bitch. We're gonna what? cut your See, dick. You have your dong skin. That makes sense. Yeah, um, it's weird. It's a weird thing to do. I mean, it's only we don't, we're just born into it now, and we're like, yeah, whatever. You cut somebody's dick up, but <laughs> if you if you're an alien, you land on this planet, and you're like, all right, okay, I see what you do in like normal uh, normal shit you're eating and stuff, and then it's like, oh, this is a baby boy. This is what we do to it. Like, let's get the fucking clamps and knives out, yo. and let's let's go at this baby. That's funny. Anyway, so your dad? Yeah, my dad's Jewish, but I mean, <laughs> Catholics still do it anyway. Oh yeah, well people yeah. people just think it's American, and it kind of is. It's not. It's it's become just this American thing. Like Europe thinks we're fucking nuts. Australia doesn't do it. Uh, China doesn't do it. Um, places that we're passing it on to, like Africa, we're mm. we're big in Africa right now. Um, uh, trying to push it. Uh, the Gates Foundation is out there trying to. It, it's weird, man. If you drive down the, the the roads in Africa, you'll see billboards that are like, "Get circumcised. It's the right thing to do." Why are they so hot to do this? So, um, they're probably being taught it's like to prevent disease, HIV in particular. Yeah. And um, the studies that were done out there are just like heavily heavily quoted and used to justify why we do it to boys in this mm-hmm. in this country and that's only recently though because circumcision if you look back at its history um sure it started biblically but we didn't start doing it um as a sort of like industrialized society thing to do um until the early late 1800s early 1900s when they were trying to stop boys from masturbating this is like puritanical wow. roots shit they didn't work yeah, no, like, obviously yeah, it not. didn't take. So, so back then it was I'm like the ISIS of still jerking off, dude. <laughs> Damn, so that's why they started it to like yeah. get you off your fucking hog. Yeah, well, it was it was back then like masturbation was thought to like create all of these issues. Like they 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 were really God, into this bitches. idea, and yeah. and like you know, girls used to wear chastity belts and this isn't that long ago. No, this is like a hundred years ago. Holy fuck. Um, so they were like, they started doing it to teen boys originally in the U S doctors. Cause they were like, they were the ones that were masturbating. And they were like, we cut his hog. He's not going to want to touch that. And you know, it works for a few weeks, but then you're like, all right, well I'm going to touch it again. But, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, so it's always been sort of this cure searching for a disease to cure. And like over the, the past decades, it's been like one thing after another. Like it used to supposedly cure epilepsy, like in the thirties or something like that. And then it became syphilis. And I've never had be- a seizure. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm just telling you that. One of my one cousin used to he had a problem with humping the floor. It was like this weird thing when he when he was little, he'd lay on his belly and hump the floor. I, I think heard that. He would kick his legs more so I usually. Fucking hump he'd the bed hump the floor. And I remember when he was little, his brother would come up like, We're calling Dr. Ennis, he's gonna put a needle in your bird, and he'd be like, All right, I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> it's a little bit like that, dude. The doctors have been in cahoots for a long time trying to stop this. Trying to stop dicks. They've Dr. Been, Ennis, dude. They've been put after a needle your, in your what's bird. his first name? I don't know. His name literally yeah. probably be sick of his Peter. P Enos, dude. So you're saying this was an anti masturbation measure? 
in the and states they just start yeah putting it on everything else. why do you think it picked up in the states so hard uh well it picked up it also picked up in england at the time but they got rid of it um when the um when they got uh the N- the nhs the national health service mm-hmm. which is like their 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 one payer medical system okay. so so basically they were like why are we doing this we're not paying for this procedure it's not necessary and mm-hmm. they just axed it at, in like the sixties or something like that, oh, but they used to cut. They used, of words. they used to cut guys. <laughs> they used to cut guys back in you know back in the day there, um, and then you know it's you still see it in a few places like Australia kind of has this like it's like twenty percent or something like that. Nobody's it's not illegal to cut a guy's dick anywhere like in the entire world. Yeah, um, it's illegal to cut a girl. Circumcise uh, women. Right? Yeah, uh, here federally in nineteen ninety six, and then. Most of, at least most of the 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 Western world rejects yeah. it completely, um, but we we fail to make the analogy to male circumcision. In fact, most of the time, people just go, "That's not the same thing at all," um, and that's that's a just like not knowing what's happening in a circumcision because certain forms there's there's four different forms of female genital cutting, and there's there's pretty much one form of male genital cutting and. The one form of male genital cutting is probably more aggressive than at least two of the forms of female genital cutting. Because the first two are just like they're going to like slightly prick the clit or something. No, like well, why do they do that? Why do we do any of this yeah, shit? Like why true. are we do, fucking uh, with anybody's do you, do you include all this in your Tinder profile? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. out, well, so what are the four types of the ways they do it to the girls? Uh, okay. So I, I believe there's, there's like a uh, – there's the where they basically take so so this a girl be fucking terrible a girl <laughs> yeah is, I almost passed yeah. out when I heard I was listening you ever hear of Ayan Hershey Ellie yeah I listened to her book and I I was telling Shane I was like she was describing it and I almost passed out I was on ninety five I was like oh god it's horrible dude yeah um yeah there's like infibulation which I I'm not sure if that's what happened to her where they where they really they completely take out the clit and then they yeah. sew them up. Yeah, that was the one where they. Yeah, I think they cut off your labia, maybe. Yeah, they cut off they cut off the clit and then parts of the labia, and then they sew. And them they up. sew it, and then your yeah. husband's supposed to have such a hard dick that he breaks through. The yeah, stitches. that's yeah. the idea. It's that's if that. You can't, you're that's obviously way worse than you know. Yeah, and then you got to come and hold the bloody sheets to your family and be like, "I fucking did it," and they're like, "Nice, broke the walls." No down, blood. Dude. She's a fucking whore. That's the idea. Yeah, it's it's She's it's ridiculous. Insane. Dude. It's insane. That's the most that's extreme the most, yeah, form, severe. and the and the least severe is is just where they like prick the hood. Where Doctor which... Doctor Ennis comes and puts a needle in your girl bird. Dude. Exactly, Oof. exactly. And Yikes. Dude, it, it's kind of weird, but I mean, the the clit is analogous to the, to the penis. I mean, if yeah. a clit is a small penis, a small and, penis, and is. and the hood is the foreskin. That is the the prepuce. Both men and women have a prepuce, which is the force. Gotcha. God damn, dude. Yeah. You're it, a fucking genital whiz. <laughs> I love it, dude. I know you do. I love talking <laughs> fucking private parts, dude. Yeah, you, dude. You Couldn't just like, call them dongs. Labia, prepuce, all this shit. Just... Pu- pre-puce, prepuce is a, the covering of the thing. That keeps it is It is a foreskin. And it's like it's just it. a medical term. I That's like sick thinking about, about clitoris as little penises. It is weird, right? Yeah. When you go to lick it. Yeah, I'm going to fucking eat. I'm going to eat pussy harder than ever, dude. I'm so fucking gay. (laughs) (laughs) Give me that dick. Yeah. Give me that teeny little dick. I'm going to start comparing, dude. Be like, come on, pull it out, pull it out, babe. Put mine up. Like, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'll get out of a cold bathtub I'll make and the still rules be like, here. Yeah. <laughs> that is, it is funny how people will say if you're like, well, if you're like female circumcision, they're like totally fucked up. You're like male circumcision, you're like, yeah, it helps from getting like crabs or some shit. I don't know. It's just cultural it's blinders, man. It's like we do it here, so it's normal. And we don't want to, usually we don't want to like look at other countries and go, oh, yeah, you guys are right. But, in this case, we really got this one sorely wrong. Damn. Uh, like, I mean, just think about it. You have a baby boy, and the first thing you do have have either of you guys ever watched this procedure? Done no, to a baby? God, no, no, Jesus Christ. Oh, well, I mean, if you want to, like, if you want to no. see, no, we should pause and watch what it. What I'm should. fucking talking about? Yes, like it's very imperative, dude, to do this. <laughs> Nah, dude. We have to pause. I don't want flashbacks, dude. I, I mean, want to watch. I don't want to have, <laughs> have PTSD. You get PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> we should watch this, dude. I mean, just the whales will get you. The baby, like this is not a. Wait, normal... they circumcise baby whales? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. As I left my mouth, I was like, yeah, I don't know. 
I tried to. You said the whales. <laughs> the whaling. Like oh, the okay. I was like, "What the fuck, dude? Why did we do that?" <laughs> I saw this one in like deeper than I thought, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. We don't cut any animals. Thank God, just dude. sperm whales. <laughs> I was think. I was. <laughs> I was thinking earlier about my dogs. I'm like, man, imagine if you cut the skin off my dog's dick, dude. It's just like it should always be away. If I see that thing, I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh, my, yeah. my dog has a fucking tiny dingus, dude. Does he? Finn has a little baby dick, dude. Jackson's my dog. He's got a fat he's fucking got a dick, hot, dude. He's got a, for his hog. size. Finn's got a little tiny bird. Our friend Brian Fennell has a dog that's like eighty pounds. That dog's dick, no lies, bigger than mine easily. That dog <laughs> he's is like fucking, a man's he's, dick. Yeah, just dog, out. It's fucking huge, dude. Uh, so yeah, let's pause and watch. Yeah, let's, uh, watch. let's watch a whale get circumcised. <laughs> We're back. That was fucking horrible, dude. I watched it. Shane got about what'd you get? A clock thirty seconds. I in got. There? I got to the beginning. Shane this. watched the talk. They give this guy gives a weird talk about like, hey, we've done this for two thousand years. You know, there's we'll, uh, we'll there's put, very light evidence that it might help with STI transmission. It's, like it's the oldest. That. It's yeah. the oldest uh, operation in the known world. It's three thousand years old. And then, oh my god. Dude. Well, that's the pitch. He's like, it's old as fuck. So <laughs> we're doing it. Dude, I just we yeah, even we'll, says this is purely cosmetic. Yeah, for anybody who wants to see that, and I'll there the probably link. are we'll zero put the link people. On the Reddit. But Google, what is it? It's uh, a the circumcision of Benjamin will get you that video. Jesus Christ, dude! dude it's this, brutal. First of all, in first of all, he has surprisingly big balls. You see his balls; they're fucking, they're big. Yeah, he was a cute kid too. He was sitting, he was there, sitting he was there, so dude. nice. He was smiling Jesus at the beginning. Fuck, then man. he heard that doctor's talk. He heard fucking Doctor Ennis's. Speech. He knew, dude. And he was like, oh, boy. Jesus Christ, dude. And then they, they strip him down, and they fucking, he's sitting there, like, again, his balls are, like, they're just like a fucking head of cauliflower. And then he has this little baby dick, and they, indu- they induce a boner. Yeah. Which, again, how do they do that? Well, with so, epinephrine? No, so they, they give him a, a, a shot, basically, anesthetic, uh, like a local anesthetic, like you might get if you're getting a yeah, cavity yeah. drilled, like right into the base of his penis. Yeah, the needle alone is horrific and to that, watch. And, and, there, and there's basically a lot of touching on his penis, so... Babies can get erections in I the womb. S- I saw um, it, dude. And, and yeah, so a lot of times like, a funny. baby will get you an erection. You think it's kicking. Yeah, you think it's kicking. It's just fucking <laughs> He's flexing. He's just rock hard, dude. <laughs> He's like, yo, I'm about to flex and bust out of this pussy. He's, He's like, like, wait, I'm, I'm in a pussy? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm yeah, hard as fuck. fuck yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they they induce an erection. You know, not good. not by acts. Not not like they're not trying to. It just happens. Just, I, I hear you, bro. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I hear you, bro. I had a couple of those in church. Good thing babies can't come. That was probably a good evolutionary thing, because otherwise it would just never end. Your baby would keep knocking you up. You have another brother. You'd be like, oh, oh. That's what twins are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The baby came inside of you. Yeah. That's, now you have uh, twins. <laughs> but yeah, the circumcision of baby Benjamin, or whatever the fuck dude, that was. The I'm, curious case of Benjamin fucking Yes, yeah. dude. That was terrible. Dude, yeah. So then they give this baby a boner. Which, did the doctor give him a boner? Or like, what's your options in that? As baby Benjamin, your first choice is, you want this doctor giving you a boner or your mom? Yeah, I mean, up. they don't they don't give you well, an option. He was, he was probably like, uh, guys, I got that boner from the nurse that was holding me <laughs> in his mind. He was like, I hope they don't think I'm gay. That's why he's crying the whole time. I know <laughs> he was. So then the doctor gives him this horrific needle. The needle too was fucking huge. Yeah, big needle, humongous needle right in the dick. And then they literally, after he has like this weird baby boner. They just slid him down the middle. How well, the fuck okay, so so here's Thank the thing. God I didn't watch. Oh, this. Shane, I'm, I'm I'm fucked up from that now. I watched Deaths all last week, and this was this was weird. I couldn't watch this. Horrible. One. This is really bad because it's repressed, dude. It's all somewhere in our fucking baby limbic system. So the the, the process to, to cut a kid, you gotta first separate the foreskin from the head of the penis. That's why it's all bloody when when you do it at first. Oh, because, that's when they showed his head. It was like a, yeah, literally a dog So dip. it's fused to the head of the penis. And actually, if Ooh. you take your baby home intact and don't cut him, they're gonna, they'll be like, don't pull his foreskin back because it's fused right now. So it's either like you can either completely fuck the kid's dick up or they're like, don't even tamper with his dick. So, yeah. But if you are going to tamper with his dick, they're going to – they have to like break it off from the head first and Ooh. then – and then they can cut it, and then they have to what? So basically, then you get these like outer and inner foreskin, and they have to fuse it together, and they have to use a clamp to put a ton of pressure I didn't on it. See that part? Yeah, you didn't get that far. But uh, then they put a ton of pressure on it, and it fuses it together, and then uh, and then that's it. I mean, the procedure like a heat it's, press kind of thing. It's not a heat press. It's a clamp, and it puts like thousands of pounds of pressure on the two skins. Watching, Good watching you, God. 
like you get you guys remember that scene in uh True Detective where you're like Russ Cole and he's like, I got this tape, you need to see it. <laughs> and he comes in and he's like, Oh god, no. <laughs> you just he was just facing the other way while you were watching it. it oh great. god, that's he's so like, I know what I'm showing him right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not watching that again. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to keep seeing that nightmare. Dude, that's fucking oh, horrific. Boy, yeah. I thought it was they make it seem like it's a quick snip and it's like That's what I thought it was. I thought like I thought it was literally like scissors to the tip of your dick. Yeah, because when you you know you have your dick, luckily the good doctor left me a little bit of foreskin. So I've seen him where they're just drawn back tight all day like a like a loaded fucking gun all yeah. the time i got a little bit the guy thank god left me a little yeah but i just thought it was like you had a little more than that and they just came around like snips i, had a, I imagine it as like a little thing that went over your dick and went zoop, and no. then it came off so i was telling shane earlier man it's it jesus the adult dude. penis is lacking 15 square inches of foreskin because the, i mm, knew it dude i knew i lost it's like an index card Fuck. i knew it, dude i have the confidence of a guy with a donger Damn. I knew it was in my psyche. I had 15 more <laughs> yeah, square inches. You're saying the, the the width of an index card? Or like So, if you wrapped an index card around your dick, Stop, that's bro. what God that's what you damn, lost. Damn, dude. In most circumcisions. I mean, there's no cut here line, so like you don't know. I hear you. I knew I was missing a little. And and God, so, that's all I needed too, dude. I knew I was like I, if I could only have just a fucking smidge. Dude, some 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 guys get it so much worse than others. Some guys like can't come and you know and they suffer silently like you don't hear about this shit like no. a, a guy's not gonna go public and be like i'm pissed off because i can't come we need <laughs> no, to end circumcision no. yeah uh, and they'll just be like they probably won't even put it together if they had like right serious problems with their dick they're just like my fucking dick yeah. just doesn't work well, right. that was that was what we were talking about upstairs where it's like because i was kind of making fun of you for this being your cause mm-hmm I knew but I knew that was coming. That's what happens. I mean, you're you're talking about something that forces a normal guy like me yeah. into admitting like I got a fucking damaged unit. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel your dick, bro? And that means my dad has a fucked up dick, dude. Yeah. And I don't want to. Oh, you never know. It's all but doctor by doctor. Yeah, but I'm saying he's circumcised. I've seen his fucking yeah, hog. Yeah. Unless okay. he had a boner every time I saw his dick, which <laughs> could be. <laughs> you induced it with a Pulp Fiction needle, <laughs> but I. Uh, it forces normal guys to even think of this issue, yeah. Which I I've never ever yeah. given a fuck, right? Oh, but then man. when you see that video, and I was telling you upstairs, I was like, just I mean, I don't care about this at all. Uh huh. And like you said earlier, you heard me on the podcast be like, yeah, I'm just right. I'll get my kids circumcised. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. Yeah. But I was like, but then again, just one conversation with you, and I'm like, man, I won't. No, yeah. I mean, I don't give the a fuck. It's fucking girls. It. It's girls, so, dude. So let me but jump in. Let me jump in on that is, yeah. because there was a podcast a few times ago where where you were you were kind of blaming women. He always blames women and, for all issues. And I, yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, there are women out there, especially in America, who just like just like men in America mm-hmm. defend circumcision by being like, it looks better this way. But this, if you look at who the decision is up to, most of the time. Women defer to the men, and they go, uh, he can choose because he has the dick. And it's usually guys doing this to their sons, and it's it's not – but it's the same position Shane is coming from, which is, like, to admit that I'm, I don't want to do it to my son mm-hmm. is also to admit – that there's there that I was harmed as a child, and that's really hard to do. Uh, so to face that, you just kind of go instead of facing, you just kind of go, yeah, let's just do it to him, and you keep you keep trivializing it in your head. And mm. we do a good job of hiding it in this culture. Like we Jeez, all just yeah. are grown up and thought to think that oh, it's just a quick snip. Yeah, Jesus uh, I, know. I, w- I would do it. The reason I would do it for my son is so when he plays basketball or football mm-hmm. and he gets in the shower with the boys afterwards. Yep. He's not getting crushed. You're worried about, you're worried about dick bullying. Yeah, I don't want yeah. my boy dick bullied. Because well, what's a more painful experience? That, what little Benjamin went through <laughs> when he couldn't even remember it? Yeah, or can, when you're in fucking eighth grade and you got a weird dick and everyone's like, yo, what's up, freak dick? You fucking Dude, loser. I'll well, here's the thing, it. man. Times are changing. Like, it's, only, it's not. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I know. <laughs> when, we were, when we were born, it was like 85% of kids were getting cut in this country. Mm-hmm. So, like, you had a very slim chance of escaping it. Yep. But now it's it's closer to fifty percent. Nice. Really, so, 50 50? Yeah, you're, you're winning the war, dude. Yeah, I mean it's about fucking time, dude. Yeah, We're about to go to Mars, but we can't like get dick cutting right. <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew space would come into this. If you're yeah. friends with Gerben, if you're friends with Gerben, space eventually is the end. <laughs> the end result to whatever the problem we're talking about is like, well, we got to get colonies on Mars. 
Also, Jesus. do you always keep your bubble jacket zipped up so that your head and neck look like a <laughs> yeah. penis? That's part of the look. Dude, that is – well, my thing is I've my girlfriend's always like, ah, no, 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 I'm not doing it, blah, blah, blah. A lot of, there are a lot of girls who are like, it looks weird. Maybe girls can't deal with the fact that their dad's dicks aren't the ideal dick. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't, it is women's fault. You're right. But. I'm just saying there's a lot of girls perpetuating this. And who is a guy? Guys don't care about their dicks. If it's like if a girl is like, no, it looks cool. You're like, my dick's cool, sick. Yeah. As soon as a girl's like, I don't like that. You're just like, God damn it. Yeah. I think I think women, women are more, I'm fine with either. Mm-hmm. Like, here's the thing. There's very few women who are going to actually get to the point where they're willing to have sex with a guy and then be like, Oh my God! Let me check you for your foreskin. True like that. first of yeah, all, when yeah, you yeah. got a when you got a hard dick, that yeah, you can't even tell unless you inspect the shit out of it. And how many of them are doing that? First of all, and then they're gonna throw you out on top of it. No, like the attra- the attraction's already over. And She's they're gonna yeah, they're gonna feel that extra index card too and be like, all right, I was wrong. Yeah, my right. bad. There's that's, a difference. So man. that so our son's dicks are like our version of our abortion. So if a girl's pressuring you, you can be like, hold on, babe, my body, my choice. <laughs> yeah. My son's dick, my choice. Yeah. yeah. I, that's I mean, fair. I mean, dude, like having a son now, especially because like we're probably a generation that might be able to be like the one of the last ones to get rid of this shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, probably, hopefully before like I die, this shit starts to dwindle down. But, you know, we have a chance to kind of like break the chain here and just be like, I'm not saying guys should walk around and be depressed. But, like, acknowledge that this sucks and that we need to stop doing it. Yeah, just watch that fucking yeah. video. Watch Jesus one circumcision Christ, and you're dude. like, all right, no, no moss, dude. That yeah. has to fuck you up as a baby. Yeah. Because then you come back and you're just like, what the fuck was that? I, I, I bet it doesn't. I, I could, well, yeah, yeah I there's no way to, you know. You never know. But your, yeah, brain, your brain is, yeah, not your even brain, close to okay, developed. so with, um, yeah, but your, your brain has systems where, like, they're, like, learning a lot more about trauma now where, like, if you're – so you're – I think amygdala is what processes like threat and fear and your hippocampus is like what regulates emotion. And when you have something like real – when you lose or something really fucked up happens to you, your amygdala shrinks and your hippocampus – or your amygdala grows and your hippocampus shrinks. And with time, your hippocampus, if everything gets normal again, your hippocampus can grow back to normal size, but your amygdala never shrinks. Can I just jump in real quick? Uh, the, do I have them reversed? <laughs> no, no. I, I don't actually know any of that science. But I, I do know that they've done studies on baby boys who have been circumcised versus those who haven't, like yeah. shortly after circumcision. And their their pain threshold reaction to um, to immunizations is uh, lower. Like they react to pain much quicker and are, are cry a lot faster. If you've uh, been circumcised, yeah, you yeah, cry but this, more? But this is like so babies. I cry this, like a fucking bitch all the time. That's why I cry. <laughs> every night. That's why I'm always crying in the shower. <laughs> this is like weeks after. It's not like adults. God it's not like 30 it. years after. <laughs> <laughs> so Next I time deep, I cry. I deeper issues. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm watching fucking hardball and I'm crying, I'm like, shut up, they call my fucking dick. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, dude, G-Baby, R.I.P. Um, <laughs> The and then it goes back to like I mean you, I remember there was a bus ad. Do you, do you remember that there was a? I remember on the side of a bus there was mm-hmm. like that was a the bunch BBC of men. thing. Yeah, 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 that was the BBC thing. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that's a that's a truck. A guy I know. Um, he heads up one of the, one of the places that I that I kind of do just charity work for Intaction. Mm-hmm. He fucking put this truck together. Um, and it says, like, circumcision, I did not consent. He's changing the whole thing, but it's just, like, dudes holding up their baby pictures. He's trying to um, – the idea now is to be more, like, foreskin positive and less, like, I'm a victim. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be about – it's going to be about, like, sex positive and, like, having a foreskin can have a better sex life kind of thing. Well, I was talking about an actual bus ad. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I feel like I've seen this. Hmm. Like, okay, on the side on. of a bus. But anyway, it's one of those things where you see it and you're like, ah and the, what was <laughs> what was dorks. the ad? Shut up! <laughs> oh, what was the ad? It was anti-circumcision. I remember it was a faces of a bunch of dudes on that's it this. with like red that's X's or something. That's a truck. They're holding up their baby pictures. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah See, yeah. I didn't yeah. open that link. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> that's yeah, cool. that was the one. I had seen that years ago. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's made it. It's gone viral on the internet a bunch. Yeah, of times. I saw that Dude, a long time. My ago. brother showed me the website of foreskin restoration like a year and a half ago and i was like this is the funniest thing i've ever seen yeah you, you, yeah. you make fun of it and it's the same yeah. thing it's yeah. like somebody being a men's rights activist yeah, yeah, yeah it's like when you hear about it you're like ah shut up shut yeah. up and they hit you with the stats and you're like good god yeah. yeah holy fuck well i was telling gerbin the other day like i appreciate you bringing this up on the podcast so much because mm-hmm. this is like a, a guy's guy podcast and fuck yeah and, <laughs> 
fuck yeah, only guys here. We don't want any fucking gay, guys gay fucked gay up dicks, fuck, dude. We don't want women in here. Benjamin's out there right now, dude. Yeah, he, I don't know. He that probably listens now. to the podcast. Yeah, probably. <laughs> he's probably pissed off. He's furious. He's like that. That that YouTube has like five hundred thousand views. Have you seen? Well, it's about to have five thousand five hundred views. It's about to have five thousand five hundred thousand sixty views. Shout out to the Reddit. <laughs> yes, dude. Even uh, Dairy Queen was talking about that. You're fucking. Oh yeah. Well, you're fucking. Do you, do you know about Tim Tebow? <sighs> no. All right, I mean, so I know who he is. Yeah, you know who he is, but I think he was out in like the Philippines. Was he? he was born. So. His parents are missionaries, mm -hmm. and he always spent time doing like Christian work in like. I mean, weird. I think it was the Philippines. Work. I think you're right. In the Philippines, yeah. or Indonesia. I think Philippines somewhere. Yeah, because I think they're Catholic. The Philippines are Catholic. Yeah, thanks but he was out there cutting the baby dicks. Yeah. yeah, but he was out there circumcising doing kids. It, dude. Out in like missions, yeah. Imagine, dude, that was in a doctor's office. Imagine a fucking Filipino, uh, yeah. ev evangelical Christian mission, yeah, cutting Filipino boys' dicks. Yeah, that's, that's why they have a strong why? lady boy population. Well, that's the American influence out there in the Philippines. We have a huge influence well, in the who Philippines. Are these people yeah. who are so hot under the collar to fucking cut these things up. Oh, you know, why is Gates so hot? It's weird, man. Uh, Gates just thinks he's promoting science, but like. He doesn't, he, he doesn't, I don't think he's familiar with the history of circumcision, but he's just like, he wants to be the guy who gets rid of, you know, HIV in Africa, which is a noble yeah. cause and a good thing to be trying to do. Yeah. Um, this in particular is one of the wrong ways to be going about it. Yeah. I mean, you could just make bigger, well, how was, I wonder how you wear a condom when you have foreskin. I feel like that would just be like, I'm not wearing this fucking thing. Uh, it, Maybe it's just more, you're more sensitive. If you so have better. a yeah. boner though. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. You're, you're right. Fine. Probably even better. I also think that a lot of dudes would be because most people I know hate condoms, myself yeah. included. And I think if you're already missing twenty thousand nerve endings from a circumcision, Heard that. the fact that you have to put a fucking piece of plastic on your penis and then try and have sex makes it makes you want to just take that shit off and be it like, sucks, dude. yeah. So I, especially when it goes all the way to the end, I feel like you ever see one of hot dogs at the end of a pack and it's just fucking smushed against the fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, your yeah, dick yeah. goes through the tip and the tip stretches. And now yeah. you're just like. This is retarded. I agree. That's funny how they put it. They put like this much space on, like a, a centimeter for cum. It's like, bro, what do you I'm think? about to fill this. Oh, up. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck do you, you think, think I've I'm been getting laid a lot lately? <laughs> this is gonna be a fat nut. Dude. You think you're like, yeah, maybe he'll squeeze out like a if team. I'm wearing like, a condom, bro. that's random, strange, dude. I have, that means I'm not. That means I'm single, dude. That means I haven't fucked in months. <laughs> this is gonna be a nut, dude. I'm We're gambling. Blow this shit. Yeah, I'm gambling right now with this <laughs> yeah, nut. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm gonna fucking fly one off. This, if I'm wearing a condom, it means I have no idea who this girl yeah, is. Yeah, I'm coming into a stranger. I'm, I'm coming no into idea. a stranger's <laughs> vagina, dude. You think I'm going to pump out a milli? No, nah, dude. This is a gallon. Dude, this is exactly. a pint, dude. <laughs> this is this yeah, is why good dick talk. Why doesn't fucking uh, Bill Gates just make bigger fucking condoms for Africa? <laughs> yeah, I know. I when you roll out a fucking Durex, dude. You're like, no way. This thing's flying in the sub-Saharan. We've got HIV licked. Bring that too. down to the Congo. Yeah. Uh. 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 -uh dude. No, nah. they, they should like study like someone just bring him a Pringles can and they do to make that into a condom. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you guys heard of this stuff called prep, but it's all over like the New York City subway ads. But basically, mm -hmm. they're promoting it for for gay guys mostly. Um, you just take a pill every day, and you it's like ninety nine percent chance you don't get uh, HIV. Yeah, wow. it's, it's we're we've pretty much defeated HIV. You tell me the party's back on, bro. I mean, it costs a lot of money right now to get that, but Damn, yeah, the party could be back on. Oh my god, the boys god. could be back to voguing and butt fucking <laughs> oh willy nilly, god. dude. <laughs> Holy shit, AIDS dude. is dead. Are you sure we defeated? Is this like a George Bush mission accomplished? I'm not. I'm not <laughs> you're not on the aircraft that. carrier, like no more AIDS, and then the next thing you know, ISIS is butt fucking <laughs> spreading AIDS. That's Holy a, shit, dude. It's not. Yeah. That's, yeah so the fuck? Why isn't Gates out giving this thing? This is just a new invent. This came out just recently. You think past Gates few years. is going to spread AIDS? This is going to advocate fucking gay butt sex. No, this is the Gates crusade, dude. He's out there. He's, this is him in the desert, just swashbuckling like, like fucking butt big sex, black dude. dicks. I he's like, ah, cut those down, dude. <laughs> I lose my erection if Gates is promoting gay butt sex, dude. I, I would. It doesn't go have Microsoft. to be just for gay guys. <laughs> yes, you could. He, you know, I actually knew an African guy who used to 
do that tactic with antibiotics. He would swallow an antibiotics and then have sex without a condom. Like it, it takes it takes it all the way. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know about that. I think yeah. that was easy. Shout out to Abraham. What's <laughs> up, bro? <laughs> yeah, how those AIDS. <laughs> that was my thing. I was like, dude, I don't think that works. And B, how those AIDS. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, you're fucking up your stomach with all the antibiotics. He's like, I have African stomach. Uh, like, okay, you got a point there. All right, bro. Yeah, it's like, all right, bud, whatever. I wonder the correlation between school shooters and circumcision. <laughs> I wonder too. We got to get a picture of these boys' dicks. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. Uh huh. I'd say cut, dude, across the board. Yeah, probably. I think they were tra- traumatized probably. from that cutting. Nah, I definitely. I bet Benjamin. You cut plus the Benjamin video game like Doom. Shooter. Benjamin might have been in Vegas. Yeah. Do you think he's set up in Mandalay? I think I'll check the fucking. I'll check the Find out dates. that guy's real name. I think <laughs> that was Benjamin. 